Hey everybody, um, once again there's a new update for The Sims Free Play, so I just want to make a quick video on how to um, do a cheat to get millions of life points and simoleons. Um, this does require that you need to restart your game. Um, unfortunately, that's the only way um, to do it, so you need to be willing to restart. But like I said, you'll have millions of life points and simoleons. Okay, so... You'll also need a computer. You can use Windows or Mac. Works with both. And this only works with iOS devices, Apple devices, iPads, iPods, iPhones, um, just Apple devices. Unfortunately, I don't have another device, Kindle, Android, you know, Samsung, to test this on. Um, so I only know that this works for Apple devices. Okay, as you can see, there's that's the new update there, and um, you'll need a program which doesn't contain any viruses or anything, and a small file which also doesn't contain any viruses, so your computer will be safe. Okay, so I'm going to show you. All right, so this is mine. I have two people. So open your game and save it, and then you want to my device is not jailbroken it's just running on the iOS 7 um, firmware operating system the new one that Apple um, is gonna come out with soon um, but like I said doesn't require a jailbreak just a computer and an iOS device so you want to go ahead and delete um, from multitask the Sims free play after you save your game and then you're going to go to your computer. And I will give you the link to both of the iPhone box and the file that you'll need. But you can always Google it. Just Google iPhone box. And I have a Mac, so I'm going to Google it for Mac and download it here. If you get this page and you have a Windows, if you have a PC, you just click on the first one, either one of these. But I have a Mac, so I'm going to click on this one. Wait for it to download. Open it. and go ahead and plug in your device and you should see it here at the top then go to applications find the sims free play go to documents and you should see there is a save games here this is the game you just saved to your um, that you just saved so if you want to make a copy of this if the cheat doesn't work or you don't you know, you want to go back to your old game, you can. The cheat definitely works. So you can copy it to your computer. And when you copy it, make sure you name it something different so you don't get confused. Because the file that you download will be called Save Games as well. So just so you're not confused on the file names. Okay, so this is your old one here. We're going to go and download the document. Again, I'll put a link in the description. So, guys, you want to make sure that the document that you download doesn't, after you download it, doesn't have .zip. If it's .zip, you want to double click on it and um, unzip it. It should look like a file. So after I'm done downloading it, I'm going to open it. It should look like there's a little file icon next to it. If there's not a file icon next to it, there's something wrong. You need to unzip it. Um, and it should look like this. The save games right here. This is what you'll need. Okay, then you want to go back to iFunbox. 
delete this save games and drag the one you just downloaded over to the same spot. Now you want to if it's not dragging or it's not copying for you guys put save games in a different place on your computer and um, try copying and paste it from there or drag it to the desktop or another area um, and it'll work so that's it the cheats done and we're gonna go to our device you're done with your computer now so we're gonna go back to our device and see Okay, and as you can see, I have millions of life points and simoleons there, and I only have one neighbor. Your person will be different, but you can just create another person, and then click on the person you don't want, and you can just delete them because you'll have a you'll have this guy BGH team or something, and that's just like the default guy, but you can always delete it. Um, like I said, this does work, so if it doesn't work for you, just retry. Um, and I'll put the steps in the description. It's very important to follow the steps exactly and make sure you are, when you first open it, you delete it from multitask your game before you do anything else. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, I will try my best to get back to everybody's questions if they have them. Alright, and thank you for watching.